When the camera rolls, they act as someone else. But who are they really once the director yells cut? And what does the director do besides directing and acting? Razor TV talks to the director and cast of the independent movie The Insomniac to find out more about them. Okay, so um, let's start from Madhav, okay? So, can you describe your creative process? Because I understand that the movie theme, right, actually deals with the absurdity of the mind. Yeah, so your mind is really like grinding chaos and you're going berserk. So, yeah. how, how do you, can you describe your creative process when you're writing this film? As the director, the writer and the actor? It is kind of autobiographical. Um, of course, I don't have hallucinations like the character in the film because my hallucinations I can control. But he sort of loses his mind completely because he doesn't know what's real, what's not. And he starts looking for approximations in his own life for things that he's imagining or reading about. For, ex for instance, he thinks of his ex-girlfriends who he perceives as sort of a threat who don't like him anymore. And he, he sort of uh, juxtaposes them against you know, people who are crushing the resistance in some kind of a distraught country where there's a rebellion. So he sort of tries to draw these parallels, which are really vague and really absurd mm -hmm. and are only laughable, but that's the best he has. So um, is there anything controversial in this film? Um, it's controversial if you want to consider it controversial because, mm -hmm. it, as I said, you can take away things at face value, you can read deep into it. Okay, okay. And for the rest of the cast, do you share any characteristics with the characters you portray? For you, Nithi? Uh, well, I nag him through the movie as <laughs> Rui and, uh, well, yeah, that's probably what I do in real life too. All so. of the time. I share very little actually with the <laughs> <laughs> Is the that character so? Because uh -huh. He's an 80 year old man and he quotes Shakespeare and Omar Khayyam and I, <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> oh, it's difficult to remember the lines then. Not really. Because you have to quote really. so many words of wisdom. Really, no. okay, okay, so you, could you tell us a quote right now, offhand? Wow. <laughs> Which is your favourite quote? <laughs> My favourite quote. Uh, do me proud, man. <clears throat> <laughs> which, which one do you want me to your, your to dazzle them with? Your favourite. Hath Ali, not. Something that will impress the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think there's any such line. Oh, but yeah, there's there's one. Hey, there's a lot of Oh, there's, there's Umar Khayyam, but I can't remember. I can't. Okay, let's see. Let's. Uh, okay, I can remember only one. The, the one that I had. He quoted. He asked me to quote. Uh, yeah. Shylock in The Merchant of Venice. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what's that? So I go, you know, hath not Ali eyes, uh -huh. hath not Ali hands, organs, dimensions. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's okay. basically defending my character. I'm defending ah, okay. yeah. I see, I see. Okay. How different is he when he's the director and when he's the actor? Is there a <laughs> distinct difference? <laughs> dun, dun. <laughs> I'm uh -oh. next to him, so I don't want to. <laughs> 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 well, and you are next to him So as there is a difference. Is there a difference? Uh, when he's director and when he's actor, right? Mm -hmm. um, well, when he's actor, it, it really flows. He's so comfortable in the role that, uh -huh. um, you know, it, it's just uh, playing off each other mm -hmm. and um, it, it's, it's a very nice um, flow. And then when he's the director, I guess he doesn't quite play Hitler, but hey. around there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Very, very diplomatic. Very sweet. <laughs> he, 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 well, he, he has a reason to uh -huh. do it, right? He needs mm -hmm. to keep us on our toes sure. and get the best out of us. So, mm -hmm. Well, he does that well. You have something to say. Yeah, I say at yeah. least when he's an actor, he has to only stick to his lines. I mean, oh. he's supposed to stick to his lines. When he's a director, he can just say what he wants. Yeah. And he <laughs> he does? Yeah, he, and he he's does. the dictator, <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks for that. <laughs> How do you feel about what he said? Um... I did feel that on set also um, at times because I think I pushed some people too hard. Uh, I did feel that and I always apologize immediately after doing that because I think one of the things with an independent set is that you're really struggling with mm -hmm. your resources, hey. which is basically time and money. And uh, you try and maximize, squeeze everything that you can out of those few hours that you have with these talented people. So you end up sometimes being very curt, which I really regret now. But uh, I mean, it wasn't that bad. I, no, I, I, I was okay. Yeah. 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 I was yeah. nice. He enjoyed it. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, basically, it is challenging that way too. But I tried to be as nice as I could. I'm sure with all the things that you've shared, a lot of people want to watch it even more. So, but what we really want to know also is also what goes on behind the scenes. That's where all the like exciting stuff comes up, isn't it? Yeah, and mm. did they really film the movie at what is considered to be one of the most haunted sites in Singapore? All that and more in our next clip. So stay tuned on Razor Pop.